Yeah. You just turn with your baps. Sunday morning spin. I was going to say it was Chris and Richard. It was meant to be, but Richard um, is away, well, so he's he's uh, called off. Join us. So it's just Chris and I. Um, it's sort of a normal thing we would do on Sunday mornings. Well, not a normal thing, but something we do regularly enough. I haven't actually done it in a while. Chris has been very busy. Um, it's just nice to head out for a change. Um, though it is nearly pitch black out there. Um, it's, it's, this is a first. <laughs> it's going out on a Sunday when it's dark. It's bizarre. Um, but the one thing about Sunday mornings the roads are so quiet, um, which is lovely. So, yeah, this is us heading off. So, we'll uh, try and capture some of very good. Hey, what we do. Just heading away from the house. Um, as I mentioned, it's pretty dark outside. Something that um, has really been confirmed to me on this trip was that the GoPro cannot handle low light. Um, just the, the detail goes, the image st stabilisation um, is pretty rubbish too. Um, it just makes for not good filming. If the camera's stationary it's not too bad but once you start moving about the camera just can't cope with it at all. Whereas when you've got good light the GoPro is really good. Um, and the other thing I've noticed about the bike, um, anybody familiar with GoPro will know that there's um, automated horizon levelling to try and fix um, the horizon when you're running. Um, I've noticed on the bicycle it doesn't work very well at all. When you're riding along on the flat the horizon actually starts to move and it's up, up to as much as maybe 20 degrees off. Um, so a lot of this footage I had to correct it um, afterwards. Um, so now I've changed the settings that I'm using on the bike to take that function off because it just doesn't work. Um, you do find that when you stop at lights it fixes the horizon again. You can see here the horizon's off so that's obviously a bit that I haven't fixed very well. Um, it's not really a great function. Again, you can see here the low light, it's just really poor, so I haven't included a lot of the, the, the low light riding because the quality is pretty dire. And now you can see, um, as the light levels increase, the quality of the picture is greatly increased. Image stabilization works much better than the GoPro when there's actually good light. The roads were pretty damp um, because it obviously had been pretty wet over the weekend. Saturday morning was lovely, but uh, Saturday evening was, was very, very damp, so the roads are still pretty damp. But uh, as I said earlier, the um, beauty of Sunday mornings when we were out early is the roads are so quiet. So we just did a bit of a, a spin from our around via Cumber. Um, and to carry it off virtually and then back down into Belfast um, to uh, go for a, a quick coffee before we go home. Nothing too major. Right to be home by about 9 o'clock on a Sunday morning, so we never, we never go too far. Towards the markets, Belfast. Um, I remembered about the famous Belfast pubs. Going to the uh, old Belfast pubs in there. She had one of those. Bell rods? Oh, Belfast pubs. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> it was an amazing thing. Because he only does 
You know, it's really only Friday and Saturday. No, it's not Friday, it's Saturday and Sunday, it's the only days he does actually. Is that right? Because we, I look to see if we go from work on a Friday, but he's not there on a Friday. You never had one? Yeah, well, I have. Uh, we should go and get them when we're at the uh, Right? When it was all the way to go to the well, there he is. Look at this tournament, you're back. <laughs> <laughs> so we were talking about the famous Belfast Babs and just happened to see the Belfast Bab guy that he was offloading his supplies to his biggest Babs on Sunday morning at the markets. If you're ever in Belfast early Saturday or Sunday morning, head to St George's Market and get one of his Belfast Babs. It's basically like a whole fry in a bab. They are so good. Heading into Ballyhack more now, we're just going to drop in Cafe Nero for a coffee. we jumped back onto the Cumber Greenway, avoid the traffic. Then we nipped off um, around in Donald onto the country roads again. Um, thankfully the traffic is still quiet enough, we were able to then hit, hit the dual carriageway for a little bit. Once in jail carriageway, we're talking five, ten months until we're home.
great wee spin, um, just over 50 kilometres. Um, all around lovely quiet roads, and then we went to uh, buy Hackamore to Cafe Nero and got a wee coffee. So, um, lovely. It's turned out a really lovely morning, as you can see. Beautiful sunshine. Um, yeah, I have a bit of company here. Hello, girls. You want to say hello to the camera? <laughs> yeah, camera shy. You ever believe hands were camera shy? Um, one thing I will say the battery has actually worked today. Um, recent trip up the morning, the battery in the GoPro was just dying on me um, and I wasn't able to use it. Actually, a lot had used my phone. I think I'm going to have to resort to buy one of the uh, Enduro batteries that they do now and hopefully get a better life that way because it's just not, not reliable. Uh, usually it's about 50% and, and says it's insufficient power. Yesterday, or the recent morning trips, it was getting like 83% said insufficient power. So useless. Um, but yeah, that's a, today's exercise over. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. I wasn't talking very much, obviously. Um, lots of just riding. Um, but just good to get out. A bit of company and coffee. All good.